Now, welcome to another California Guy video with your boy, California Guy. What's up, everybody? And welcome to this video. It's the title, Battling White Supremacy. Now, I'm here to break down, like, the key components to battling white supremacy and racism in 2016 and further up. Now, this is just me ranting and, 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 and saying what we need to do against white supremacy. And one is we need to start figuring out the AIDS virus. That's number one. Where did it come from? Uh, the origin. And I, I told many people in my previous videos about the AIDS virus being a weapon. It's a weaponized. Uh, um, it's a weapon to destroy blacks, uh, Latinos, gays, and anybody poor. Uh, you know, that was something that the government came up with. So, you know, we need to start really breaking that argument down on why this disease even exists. Second uh, way to battle white supremacy is we need to talk about, oh, what's the one? I'm trying to think real quick, people, is the guns in the black community. Where are the guns coming from? So it's just many things that we need to go on and, and discuss in the black elite. Now, we have a different issue in 2016 that's new, and that's the global elite and the black elite at the same time working tandem. The black elite is put in a place to control black mindset. That's the thing I, I, I did this video for. It's really the black elite. And a lot of pe black people on social media has been talking about Chris Rock and why he made the kind of jokes he made. I knew that Chris Rock, number one, was never going to make the kind of jokes that he need to be made because he's a puppet for white supremacy just like Don Cheadle, just like Stephen H. Smith, just like Steve Harvey even, uh, and some other ones. These are black people who is controlled by the uh, global uh, elite and this is the black elite being manipulated to control black people with it's, they, they to provide misinformation. And that's why I, I've been proud of a lot of black people who've been battling the black elite for a long time. Now, you see the black elite is crumbling now. The black elite is falling apart because now they fired Melissa Harris Perry. Uh, they're getting all the blacks off of MSNBC. They get all the blacks off of CNN. They got rid of Soledad O'Brien. Uh, they got rid of Roland Martin. They're getting rid of all the people and they're putting them back to underground. We're going back into pre-2008 stages. We're going back into pre-1992 stages. And we're going back into the days of the underground and the black elite is being punished now. Now they're being punished because they're being, because of Beyonce, I think. One is Beyonce. Beyonce was not supposed to do her uh, cheer. The thing that's the uh, Super Bowl song. She did that publicly. And she's letting the, the elite know that she's not going to be a puppet. And so now it's punishment. You're seeing clashes all amongst the, the, the global elite. Uh, you have Jada Pickett Smith rallying against um, the elite herself. And she's going to get banned. She's going to not do movies no more. So you people can expect her not to uh, do movies. So the, the black elite is, is being destroyed as we see. Uh, you see shows like you see Monique. Uh, she spoke out against it. She's gone. Uh, Beyonce is going to be gone. Uh, now Jada Pickett and this females that's really uh, going up against this. Where are the black elite males? You're not going to get that. They're going to continue getting. Uh, the, they're going to continue sitting at the table, like Chris Rock. Chris Rock was never going to battle the black elite, uh, and he's not going to battle the global elite. He's he was put there as a place as safe jokes. You know, he, he he does stuff to make white people feel good, and you know that's Chris Rock's job. I knew his jokes was going to be sellout jokes. I knew it in advance. I told. Many people that the elite will take his uh, seat away at the table. And he needs to sit at that table. Chris Rock, people got to understand, Chris Rock is the most powerful black man in Hollywood. Believe it or not, he's more powerful than even Denzel Washington. This man is a shaker and a mover. That's the reality. And the second most powerful black man in Hollywood is actually Puff Daddy. And I know people say, well, why? I I'm going to do another video on Puff Daddy or... I'm going to go further into that on another on another range. But at this point, Chris Rock is the most powerful black elite that you've ever seen. The most powerful black elite. And he is a game changer. 
and he will he he's not going to go against the establishment, white establishment, white Hollywood, or the establishment in general, and without losing his seat at the table, he's not going to lose that. So that's why his jokes were flat, and he turned it around and he blamed black people for the cause of our poverty in the United States. That's why you heard Chris Rock say that. Um, I'm one of the people that's been pointing out that Chris Rock as well as Steve Harvey has been a, a puppets for the, the global elite and the black elite. They've been puppets. Both men have safe positions. Both men would never speak out against their masters. Both men are self-avowed Uncle Toms and Coons. And one just knows how to mask it better than the other. And see, people will tell me that, oh, well, Chris Rock talks against racism. Yeah, but it doesn't go all the way. Just like Oprah Memphrey. But that's, again, she's, uh, like all these people, this is a, a, a shadow web. See, the global elite uses the black elite, several media figures, to control black thought in this country. Whether it's assimilation, whether it's uh, voting even, uh, whether it's uh, a various of different issues, they use the elite, the black elite, for that purpose. Black people love entertainment more than, I hate to say this, but we, we love entertainment more than anything else. So that's why we tend to have more black elite through the media, whether it's basketball players or comedians or, you know, it, it, you know they treat us a little different. So they, they need them for that position. That's why you have Lee Daniels uh, making empire to make black people into fags. So you have little things like that. They, they're trying to make it acceptable in the black community to be faggots. So that's what's going on in, in the black community, in the black elite. So the elite is being controlled by the global elite to put these messages down into the black community to change black people at the same time. And I'm telling black people, we need to fight for our black community in the United States. I say fight and stand up against the black elite. Do not let Chris Rock, do not let uh, Oprah Winfrey, do not let uh, anybody that's on that, on that or, or Will Smith take away your rights or try to control your thought, stick to the black church. They tried to destroy the black church in 2013 and they could not destroy the black church. We fought against them when they tried to take it apart. Shout out to Dick Gregory, shout out to Umar Johnson, and shout out to people out there or, or, or Afro Synergy. To people who recognize that the black elite is trying to destroy the communities across the United States. Uh, Dick Gregory has pointed out multiple times in his early years. And we're going to continue the tradition of pointing out about the global and black elite. And what they're doing to this country and to black America. <clears throat> because the goal is to keep black people uh, disillusioned with the country. So... I just thought to do this video, and if anybody have any requests or any ideals to discuss with me, uh, let me know, like and share this video. Peace out, people.